Hi guys, I'm Will from VPN Mentor. Welcome to our review and tutorial of Proton VPN. As always, we'll check out their website, the services they offer, how easy it is to subscribe to, and we'll put their services to the test. Finally, we'll see whether we can get a refund and at the same time check out their customer support so you don't have to. And at their homepage, we're first off presented with supported platforms and the claim of providing encrypted service with no logs kept, as well as supporting routing data through Tor networks, which should guarantee us a great level of anonymity. They offer unlimited bandwidth on up to 10 devices and have a free plan as well. Billing information shows they give refunds for all unused service periods within 60 days of the purchase. Heading now to their plans section, and there we can see they offer four different options, where the difference amongst the paid ones is in the number of simultaneous devices allowed, somewhat the speed of the servers and a few other features they include, Tor servers being one of them. We choose Plus Plan for this tutorial, but you can choose any other which suits your needs the best. And also you can choose a yearly subscription and save 20%. It should be noted, if you have a paid plan at ProtonMail, you are eligible for 20% discount on their VPN services. After requesting for an account, we are proceeding with the payment, using PayPal. Unfortunately, only credit cards are supported as an alternative payment method. So no anonymity there, as it could be if they supported Bitcoin. As always, before subscribing to their or any other VPN service, make sure you check out our coupon page and get a better deal on your purchase. And we successfully completed our payment and subscribed to the plan of our choice. And after getting into our account settings, we're gonna download the app. Client support is very good, all major operating systems. Scrolling down the page, we can see they offer secure core locations which basically are an enhanced protection VPN service and all those marked with a capital letter P are premium services, which we'll mention a bit later. We're proceeding with downloading and installing the app for our platform, which is Windows. Installation and signing complete, and we're in. Checking the app interface gives us an impression of a clean and easy to use look. The ability to create profiles for connecting to servers seems neat, and it is also customizable. Settings section gives us the usual account details, as well as a VPN kill switch as an option. Now let's connect to a remote server and see how their network performs. Firstly, we check our local connection and IP so we can accurately compare the results. We can see we're now in Belgrade and this is our IP address. Testing the speed of our local connection gave us a ping of 10 milliseconds and a download speed of 35.63 megabytes per second with a 3.77 megabytes per second upload. Let's see how one of their servers performs on speed test. Firstly, we're gonna clean our browser data and then run the test. With ping value of 53, Download of 21.18 megabytes per second and 3.83 megabytes per second upload speed. We reckon this should be a solid connection for most of the tasks, including streaming Netflix content. With that, we're heading now to Netflix and checking out a TV series called Family Guy, since we know this one isn't available in our country. And yes, nothing found. Let's see, will changing the location help us with this? We're gonna go back to the app and select the USA as our country of choice. And after a successful connection, let's see how it compares to the local one. After a few shots, we're able to connect to Netflix using server US Co. number 6, based in Las Vegas. Testing it out, we found that Netflix could be loaded, but we faced an error while trying to stream the content. So we raised the ticket and waited for a response from the customer support. After a quick response from them, we connected to a few USA servers as well as the ones marked with a P letter on the side. That's the P we mentioned before in this tutorial, which refers to a premium one. We're now checking our current IP address. As you can see, our address is now located in Chicago, Illinois. The server connected with ping of 325 milliseconds 
and download and upload speeds of 6.17 megabytes per second and 2.28 megabytes per second. Comparing it to the performance of our local connection, it doesn't look that great, but we reckon it should be good enough for streaming. Netflix is now loaded, the series is present, let's see whether it will buffer the data this time. And success! Everything seems to be working without a problem. Alright, since we successfully completed our test, let's go ahead and see whether we can get a refund. Before even applying to one, we need to downgrade our current plan to a free one. We really don't know why that's the case, but it seems it's mandatory for requesting your money back. Only after that, we received the confirmation of our refund requested and funds were returned. If you're interested in Proton VPN and would like to know more about the services they offer, I suggest going to our review page. There are lots of details about their service as well as expert reviews and current ratings, so you can compare them with other offers and help you with choosing the right one for you. Okay, that's it. We're gonna check out what we liked and what we didn't like about Proton's VPN service. It successfully unblocked content on Netflix, it has a wide support of operating systems, the app is easy to use and very well thought out, there is a possibility of using the service for free, it offers many features including Tor supported browsing, they keep no tracks of users and no logs of any kind, it has app profiles and kill switch, it has quick and helpful customer support. There are only two things that we didn't like and we would like to see them improve. They have to make unblocking geo-restricted content on Netflix and similar streaming services easier and start supporting any of the anonymous payment methods like Bitcoin. So that's it. If you found this video helpful, please like, share and leave comments in the section below.